Hi, this is Yulia Panchenko. I'm a wedding and boudoir photographer based in Florida, United States, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a boudoir shoot in an empty studio. So if you're a photographer who um, just started doing boudoir genre and you don't have any furniture to work with, uh, you can still achieve beautiful images. And boudoir genre does not really need much uh, because you're working with beautiful um, artwork, which is human body. All you need really is to learn how to create flattering poses and how to lead your subject in a way that will highlight her beautiful curves and shapes. And Leslie, she is our beautiful model. Today, she's gonna help me to demonstrate to you five poses that we're going to do by the wall. Today I'm shooting with Nikon D850 and a 50mm prime lens. Uh, I'm having here uh, Stella Pro lights um, by Light and Motion. This is a continuous light that will help me to demonstrate how the um, uh, highlights are falling on uh, my model's body. I'm shooting with uh, Rotola, Elinchrom Rotolux Strip Box and I have uh, Grid on top. Grid will help me to narrow down the light and to create more shadows, more contrast for the shoot. And I also have a beautiful model, Leslie. So it's a once a light setup, one lens and one model for today. So let's get started. So this is our setup for today. Uh, we are not changing anything throughout the shoot. Uh, we're doing side lighting. The light is not gonna change position. We're doing five poses um, and let's see what we can achieve in the empty space like uh, where I am right now. So let's start from the first pose. Uh, Leslie, if you can come closer to the wall, uh, touch the wall with your booty, bring your arms up, kind of like on the level of your head. Yeah, just right there. Um, so as you can see, um, by adding light, we create beautiful highlights on her body, on the side of her leg and her arm, a little bit on her, um, her face. And if I remove them, the move the light, they disappear, it's not as flattering. And if we bring the light back, you can see how beautifully her, um, her body sculpted with the light, with the highlights and shadows. So <clears throat> I ask her to bend her arms and uh, bend your knee as well, arch your back. We're creating two triangles uh, with her arms. So this is one triangle, two triangle. We're creating another triangle by asking her to arch her back and another one by bending her knee. You can even cross a little bit. Yeah, just like that, beautiful. She looks absolutely stunning in this pose. Um, close your eyes, Leslie, for a second. Beautiful. Bring this arm maybe a little bit closer to you. Yeah, right there, perfect. And I'll do one full body shot. Gorgeous. That was our first pose. Now I will ask you to turn facing the wall, please. Uh, closer to the wall. And let's bring your um, arms up. One is extended and one is bent, just like that. And arch your back. And with your legs, bend one of your knee. Perfect, and bring your face a little bit, yeah, right there. So, again, we're not changing the light, and um, this the light creates beautiful highlight on her booty, and a little bit on her arm. It comes to her uh, cheekbones. Let me do the shot. Perfect. Can you arch your back even more right there? Yes, perfect. Um, bring your foot a little bit closer. Yeah, or yeah, just like that. What if you bring it up? Yes, you see how you can arch even more. I love it. Hold it like that. Okay. And I see the light in my frame, so I'm gonna move it a little bit away from her. Perfect, okay, 
One, two, three. Beautiful. Can you put this hand on top of your arm? Right there. And again, close your eyes. Yeah, just like that. We're going to modify this pose a little bit. So do the same thing, Leslie. Extend one of your arms, but uh, with this arm, put it on your head instead. Yeah, just like that. Um, bring your leg close, yeah, foot closer and up a tiny bit and turn your booty towards me. Yeah, right there. So what we're trying to achieve here is beautiful curve uh, on her back and uh, I ask her to bend her knee to bring her foot a little bit higher. That will actually help her to bend and arch a little bit more. Um, we creating another triangle with this arm it looks absolutely stunning from this angle. So let me go ahead and photograph it really quick. Leslie, if you can turn your face a little bit towards me and up. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, right there. Uh -huh, perfect. Beautiful. Relax. And try to do that pose faster because it really hurts, right? Yeah, it hurts when you arch your back. This is our third pose. Uh, this is more of a fashion inspired pose and Leslie, she is a fashion model, so she's gonna demonstrate it easily. But myself, I tried that, that pose many times and it works. It's, it's really easy to achieve. So Leslie, if you can lean against the wall, just like that, yeah. And let's bend one of your knees. Perfect. Um, that arm can, yeah, can be extended. Another one can go up, or um, just maybe a tiny bit here on on your hip. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And I'm gonna photograph from three different angles to see which way is better. So see if the light is good. I think I'll bring it a little bit closer to her. Okay, perfect. And you can look at me, Leslie. Beautiful. Uh, and I'll do it from this angle. Now we're doing a pose with Leslie standing uh, sideways to the wall. Uh, she is away from the wall and what I will ask her to do is to cross your legs, cross your legs, right there, and uh, get on your toes, perfect, and to support your body, uh, hold, yeah, by the wall, beautiful, and her arm is bent just a little bit higher and away here yeah, right there and relax your hand so she is on her toes and her legs are crossed which um, accentuate her um, her bottom shape and also make her look taller um, we created another triangle and that actually helps her to support her her body uh, not to fall down uh, I will ask you to also bend this arm that's perfectly and um, maybe at one point I'll ask her to turn her face this way. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and photograph. Uh, I will have to move my light. Sorry guys, we're moving light a little bit. So I'll have to move my light a little bit to the side right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Your arm is in, just, just like other one, the left one. Bring it in, bring it in. Like bend it, bend it, put it in your hip and bring it in just a little bit, yeah. A little bit less right there. Perfect. And your hands, maybe just flatten it a little bit like you're holding, yeah. Perfect. And one more time. One more time, just in case. Beautiful. Can you go higher on your head, on your, yeah, toes, right there. Mm -hmm. Work on your shoulder and uh, move your, turn your face sideways, yeah, right there, and chin up. Close your eyes. 
and we're gonna demonstrate to you our final pose. Uh, when I work with my clients, I always start with some simple poses and at the end of the shoot, we do something more complex, something more artistic. And we came up with uh, this pose together with Leslie. She's gonna demonstrate to you. So what she's doing is she is accentuating her uh, shoulders, she is bringing them forward uh, and I, to me it looks like a more powerful type of posing, showing her personality of person who is constantly moving forward, wants to achieve something and that's how I see Leslie actually. So I think that's gonna, um, um, that's gonna be a perfect pose for her. Uh, she is bending her knee just to create again one triangle, um, she's been uh, arching her back uh, touching the wall with her arms and bending her arms just creating two more triangles and it's not an easy pose so I'm gonna go ahead and try to capture it faster so Leslie go ahead and do that again but bring your booty a little bit closer to the wall yeah arch your back even more and uh, shoulders work on your shoulders yeah beautiful just like that hold it and I'm gonna move my light a little bit. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. Very good. Okay, relax. And that was our last pose. Uh, Leslie was amazing. Thank you so much. This is that wasn't our first time working together. We worked before. Uh, it's always fun and easy to work with her. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful for you. And if um, you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do that. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.